Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will go through what are, in my opinion, the best ways to make some gold with fishing. And each time I will explain where exactly you can get the different items that we're interested in and how you can make it as efficient as possible. And at number 8, we will have fishing in the Dragon Isles. With Dragon Fight, we received a lot of new interesting items and you can really make quite a lot of gold when fishing some of these items. The first one, for instance, that you can fish in open waters is the Draconic Recipe in a bottle. With these different blue containers, when you open them, you will receive some random BOE plants, recipes and patterns that you can then sell on the auction house for sometimes quite a lot of gold. So this is definitely a good addition to the loot table from fishing and a good way to make some extra gold when fishing. Next to that, when you are fishing, you will also be able to get some of these coins of the owls. And with all these different coins of the owls, you will then be able to buy some bags. And inside the bags, you can find different types of items, such as, for instance, the draconic recipe in a bottle. You can sometimes find some aces for the different dark moon decks and other interesting materials that you can then sell on the auction house. So again, with all these different items that you can get when fishing in the open waters, you can make quite a lot of gold. Keep in mind, these are pretty rare. But next to that, you will, of course, get a lot of other items, such as all the different fish and everything that you can also sell at the auction house for quite a lot of gold. One thing that of course you want to do when fishing in a Dragon House is to get a couple of items. First of all, you want to get this one right here, the Draconium Fisher Friend, because you will be able like that to increase your perception and to get more rare items. Also, you want to try and get this uh, fishing cap because you will get an increase in the fishing skill when you equip it. So this is the type of things you want to do in order to improve your fishing skills and the items you will get. Also, with the Tusker reputation, you will be able to unlock a couple of interesting things. So the first thing you will be able to actually unlock are going to be all the different uh, fishing river mouths. So as you can see, the fishing holes, um, you can go there and you will have an extra chance at getting some of these rare fish and rare items. So this is really good. And then also when you reach run on 10, you will be able to do the ice fishing. And with the ice fishing, you will have a chance at getting some interesting fish, uh, such as, for instance, the different frozen tuna. So right now, the value is not so great on this tuna, but still, you can always make a little bit of gold when fishing this one. So this is a good way also to make some gold. And definitely for fishing, I would say that anything related to the Tusker is going to be pretty good and will improve the overall gold you will make when fishing in the Dragon Isles. At number 7, we're going to have a very recent farm from Shadowlands and this time this is the Strange Group that you can get in Zeret Mortis. So basically, with this item, you can then create a lure and when using this lure and using it on Irukun, the rare that you can see just here, you will have a 100% chance of getting the mount, the Deep Star, already. So if you're not doing it and if you're not using this item, unfortunately, it will be a very low percentage of drop so this is why a lot of people are still buying this item till this day. The only annoying part with this farm is that you can only do it here in Zeret Mortis in this part right here and also the drop rate on this trench group is very very low so you will need to spend quite a lot of time before you will be able to get one of these items. So currently the average value on European realms for this item is 127 to 167,000 gold and on US realms 150 to 216 and keep in mind the sell rate is 0.06 so it will sell, it will just take a little bit of time. Then at number 6 we're gonna have 4 different weapons that you can get when fishing in specific areas. So as you can see we have the steel scale crush fish, this is a one ended mace, the rock eyed strong fish another mace and then we have 2 daggers, the Dust Bringer and the Dark Airy. So all these different weapons can be sold on the auction house for quite a lot of gold and they're all pretty rare. As you can see, for instance, the Dark Airing is on average 250 to 400k gold on European realms. The Rock Hide Strongfish is 319 to 443,000 gold on average on European realms. The Steel Scale Crush Fish is 300 to 485,000 gold. And finally, the Dust Bringer is 1 million to 2 million on average on European rates. So, one thing that is very important to mention is that the three green fish items cannot be transmogrified as of patch 10.0.5. So, unfortunately, the value 
and the interest of the players in these different items might not be super strong. This one normally can be transmogrified, but as you can see, this is like a normal look. This is a unique model, but this is pretty uh, simple and nothing crazy. In order to get all these different items, you will have to fish into these different uh, places. So for the Dark Earring and the Dustbringer, it will be in Northrend, and the best place to fish them is going to be here in the Holding Fort. And as you can see, you can really try to go into all these different Fangtooth Earring school, and you will have a chance at getting uh, both of these weapons. Then from for the Steel Scale Crushfish, you will need to go in the Wetlands. Uh, or in the eels bright foothills and you will have to fish into all the different uh, school of fish that are available there and finally for the rock eye strong fish you will have to fish it during the stranger own fishing extravaganza that is only available uh, i believe once a month or something like that and you will have to fish it inside a tasty fish uh, pool of fish so this is how you can get all these different items and keep in mind they will probably sell extremely extremely slowly but this is still something you can do in order to have some interesting items up on the auction house. And also the day these different maces and this dagger will become uh, part of the transmog system, trust me, you will be able to sell them for a lot of gold. After that, at number 5, we're gonna have all the different fishing daily quests from the Burning Crescent. So basically, all you wanna do is come here next to Shatrat and you want to talk to Old Man Barlow. Each day, it will offer you a new quest, and these quests are usually pretty easy to complete. And when you complete the quest, you will receive one of these bag of fishing treasures. So inside this bag of fishing treasures, you will have different type of items, but some of them can be really interesting. For instance, you have some cosmetic items such as the Noble's Monocle, the Ornate Dragon Stain, the Antique Silver Cufflinks. You will have a couple other interesting things. And when you complete this specific quest, the Crocodilisk in the city, this is one of the five daily quests that you will be able to get, you will also have a chance of getting one of the four pets that you can then learn, cage, and sell on the ocean house. So definitely this is something you want to do when this one is up, again, the Crocodilisk in the city. And it's very easy to do because all you need to do is to go, I believe, in Storwin or in Orgrimmar and to just fish this baby Crocodilisk and then you will be able to complete the quest. So in order to do this farm very easily and to avoid having to do it only once per day per character, what you can do is to simply create an allied race. You will get a level 10 character. Then when you're in Storwin or in Orgrimmar, all you want to do is to go talk to any fish trainer, buy one of the fishing pole, and then you want to use the portal to go to Shatrat. Then you just want to use your mount and directly go here and talk to old man Barlow, you will be able to learn fishing and then you will directly receive the quest. Like that you will be able to complete the quest, give it like just complete the quest and then you can get the rewards, send them to one of your main characters and then you can delete this character, create a new one and do it again and again. Like that for instance when the quest Crocodilisk in the city is up, you can easily in maybe one hour get the four different pets and like that, you can then make quite a lot of gold by selling all these different items on the ocean house. Then at number four, we're going to have a very similar farm. This time, it's going to be about all the daily quests from Wrath of the Lich King. So all you want to do is come in Dalaran in the old version from Wrath of the Lich King. And you want to come just here and talk to Marcia Chase. Marcia will be giving you one day per character one of these daily quests. And when you complete the daily quest, you will receive a bag of fishing treasures. So inside this bag, you will be able to get quite a lot of interesting items. But the most interesting ones are really going to be the batter, jungle hat and the diamond tip cane. But as you can see, you can also, for instance, get one pet, you can get one toy and all these different things can be sold on the ocean house. When it comes to the batter jungle hat, as you can see, you will be able to sell it on average on European realms for 190 to 214,000 gold. And the diamond tip cane is 130 to 247,000 gold. So both items can be sold for a lot of gold. But keep in mind, these are really rare. And as you can see, it's only 0.3% chance of dropping. So of course, you will need to open quite a lot of these bags before getting some of these really good items. And here again, what you can do is to create an allied race. You will get the level 10 character. And then you can directly come to Dalaran using the portal in Storwin or Orgrimmar. And you can come and talk to Marcia Chase. Here you can 
learn phishing by the phishing pole and directly you will receive the daily quest and then you can complete the daily quest and like that you will be able to get multiple of these bikes every hour. I made a video recently explaining what are the best quests and how you can make it as fast as possible so I will link this video in the description and I would encourage you to also watch this one just to make this farm as efficient as possible. After that, at number 3, we're gonna have another interesting farm. This time, this farm will take place just here in the Northern Barrens and you want to come really just here in order to be able to fish into this water. So when you fish inside this little uh, pool of water, you will have a chance at getting this really cool weapon and this is the broken wine bottle. So as you can see, this is a one-handed mace and since patch 10.0.5, you can actually use it as a transmog. And this is something that again, you can sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. The current value on European realms on average is going to be between 290 to 371,000 gold and on US realms 274 to 645,000 gold with a sell rate of 0.010 so it's not too bad but definitely it will take some time before it will sell. Just keep that in mind but it's always a good item to have up on the auction house so just try to get one and then wait for it to sell before farming another one. After that at number 2 we're gonna have Garrison Fishing. So when you unlock the level 3 of your fishing house in your garrison, you will be able to then start and fish in the waters of your garrison. So there you will be able to get different type of fish, but there is one in particular that we're really interested in, and this is this one right here. This is a green fish that basically you can then toss into the water, as you can see right here, and it will summon one of these mobs. So all you need to do is then to kill the mob, and this mob has then a chance at getting some really interesting items, including some of the rare cosmetics that I just mentioned before. So as you can see, you will for instance have the ornate Duke in stain, the antique silver cufflinks, the nobles monocle, the diamond tip cane, the battered jungle hat, and all the cell rates are a little bit better than in the fishing bag, so it's already an improvement. And also one thing that is important to mention is the fact that you will have a chance at getting two mounts, the sea turtle and the riding turtle. So that can also be something that you might uh, enjoy when doing this farm. So you can do this farm solo, but what I would really recommend you to do is try and find a group in order to do it with other people. Because basically, when you're in a group, if you kill the mob, everyone else will be able to loot the mob. And so like that, it's way easier to get more kills and to increase your chance of getting some of these items. So what you can do is either start a group or try to find a group. Normally you can just type garrison or fishing and you might find a group. Again, there is not that many groups these days, but you can still try and find a few people to do it with you. And like that, you will make it even more efficient. And finally, at number one, we're gonna have the Great Sea Ray. So the Great Sea Ray is a mount that you can farm in battle for Azeroth. And all you need to do is to go really in any of the open waters from battle for Azeroth and you will have a chance at dropping this mount. So one of the best spots for old players is going to be just here. And then for Alliance players, all you want to do is do the same. You just want to go near the capital and fish inside the waters of the capitals. And like that, you will have a chance at getting the mount. So currently the sell rate is 0.04, which is not too bad. And the value is 300 to 321,000 gold on average on European realms and 200 to 265,000 gold on average on US realms. Keep in mind, this is a rare drop, so you will need to be pretty patient in order to get it. But when you get it, you can then sell it on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with fishing. Keep in mind, as many of these items are either cosmetics or rare mounts that are pretty expensive, you will have more chance at getting some sales on iPop realms or maybe like for instance role-playing realms. But still, this is something you can do really with any of your characters on any realms and hopefully you will be able to make some gold with some of these farms. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos and in the meantime, I wish you all a great start of the weekend. Bye!